Hello, YouTubers out there. This is the Move Wasteland Show with your host, Jerry Sanavia. So tonight, I'm just going to briefly discuss uh, something that had occurred on SML 40 with Eddie Murphy. Now, I did a video uh, about this technically already, and that was the fact that I was a bit disappointed that after 31 years, Eddie Murphy came on stage and, congratu and was congratulated by Chris Rock uh, for having been on SNL for so uh, for the amount of time he was on, and uh, for his career and blah blah blah. So um, Eddie Murphy then came on stage after that presentation. His little talk lasted about a minute and a half, and he said that it was like being back in high school, and that was really about it. And apparently, um, there the the next bit, or, or whatever he was going to say after, said, oh, are we doing this? And he wasn't clear on what was happening, because it is live. And then he started to repeat, well, thank you so much, because it's been a blessing to be here, blah, blah, blah. So uh, it turns out that Eddie Murphy, in fact, was going to do a skit for SNL 40. And uh, I guess at this point, we are going to have to take it on faith that Norm MacDonald, a comedian who I really do not care for at all, as uh, an SNL vet himself, claims that Eddie uh, was going to be playing Bill Cosby in a little skit during the Celebrity Jeopardy, which Keenan Thompson ended up playing Cosby very briefly, mixing a drink. Um, and uh, Eddie Murphy was going to do that part, and Eddie apparently was reluctant to play Cosby in the sketch. Now, for those who uh, may or may not know, Eddie Murphy used to make fun of Bill Cosby, particularly on his stand-up movie Raw, back in 1987. Uh, and he criticized Cosby basically for having Cosby call Eddie and chastising him on his act, because Bill Cosby's son wanted to go see the Eddie Murphy show and it was all about cursing and blah blah blah. So, uh, and Eddie Murphy also has made fun of Bill Cosby on other occasions, in particular Letter Part 6, which he, Eddie claims he saw that in the theater and threw popcorn at the screen. Um, <laughs> so, but here's the thing. Okay, so there's this writer um, for Salon.com, uh, and her name is Anna Silman, and she feels that Eddie Murphy just decided to play it safe. He didn't want to go there, because Bill Cosby, of course, has been accused of... Uh, drugging women in the past and having sex with them without their knowledge and uh, whether it's with the drinks or whatever um, and I guess he didn't want to go there uh, and I and I understood why he didn't want to go there okay so Kenan Thompson went there all right and Kenan Thompson by the way appeared in Fat Albert the movie so it's not like <laughs> hey you know um, so some comedians decide to take to poke fun at Bill Cosby uh, lately. But what Bill Cosby did certainly was not funny. Now, it's not to say that no subject uh, is beyond reproach that is worthy of being parodied or made fun of. Not at all. Anything can be made, you can make a joke out of. Absolutely anything. There are no uh, barriers. There shouldn't be. Sometimes in the times we live in, there's political correctness. But all I could tell you is that Eddie Murphy would not have done that joke, even back in the 1980s. Now, this woman claims that he would have. The 80s Eddie would have gone there. But I don't think so, because Eddie Murphy, his comedy is very specific. Uh, when you consider what his humor was at the time, it seemed profane. He made fun of gays and Mr. T and all that, but it was all in good fun, in particular when he was attacking other people, and especially Bill Cosby. So... Mr. T, you know, that whole Jedi mind trick, maybe I'll use a Jedi mind trick on Mr. T. Mr. T will say, I heard you made some jokes about me. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I'm going to go to the fool who made that lie. Or that's, you know, I'm not the greatest, uh, <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. But the point is that it was all in good fun. You know, when he made fun of Fat Elvis back in the Delirious special back in the day, or singing things about, you know, whatever came to mind to Elvis Presley, like Lemonade, a cool, refreshing drink. But he wouldn't kick down Elvis any further than that. In particular, the way Elvis died. You see what I'm saying? So he doesn't quite cross that line. He never really did. Uh, and he wouldn't have with Bill Cosby. 
So this woman is wrong. She doesn't know the comedy of Eddie Murphy. The comedy of Eddie Murphy is somewhat upbeat. Uh, Raw was a little painful for Eddie at that time, that's for sure. But when he did his impressions and when he got him out of the way right at the beginning of the, of the film, particularly his impressions of Michael Jackson, it was all in good fun. You know, uh, you know the whole thing with the, the glove, Michael Jackson, and stick this glove up your ass and that sort of thing because you keep making fun of me and so on and so forth. But it was always in good fun. This situation with Bill Cosby is troubling. I believe it's true. I know there are some people that feel Bill Cosby didn't allegedly rape any of these women in the past, but so many have come forward. I have to believe that this is true. You know, 27, now 30, or whatever it is, women. And it's, it's, a, it's a big controversial uh, topic. And, you know, if he, Bill Cosby, is in fact being accused of being a rapist, I'm not sure Eddie Murphy can deal with that in a way that's funny. Um, what Kenan Thompson did w was was kind of funny, so I will s I, I will say that. But it's not where Eddie Murphy goes, you see. So he does draw the line somewhere. Anyway, and this is the Boop Waste Night Show with your host, Jerry Saravia, signing off.